Hi, it's Paddy Hirsch at Marketplace, here to talk to you about pigs. European pigs, in fact. These are economies that are having real problems right now and uh, could potentially give us, in fact, well, already are giving us in the US big problems as well, roiling the stock markets all over the world and possibly even putting pressure on the US stock market too. So who are they and what the heck's going on with them? So who are the pigs? Okay, who are little porkers? Okay, these are basically five economies in Europe who are pretty down in the mouth right now. And they are Portugal, okay, Italy, horrified to say Ireland, Greece, and lastly, Spain. Okay, now what's the issue here? Well, basically, these guys have taken on too much sovereign debt. Okay, they are, they are basically borrowing too much from the market or from basically from the world. And in many cases, what they've done is they've, they've transferred all of that financial risk, okay, the problems with the banks, and they've brought it onto their own balance sheet. And now they've got a problem because their economies are slowing down. They're having difficulty uh, servicing that debt, paying the interest, particularly a problem for Greece recently. Portugal is really in the, uh, in the headlights at the moment. So why is this such a big deal? Well, as these guys fall into trouble, okay, there's a real risk that they're gonna default on their debt. If they do default on their debt, then somebody's gonna to have to help them out because they're all part of the Eurozone, okay? They're all involved in the Euro. So if they go down, uh, they, they're gonna bring the Euro with them. So in order to bail them out, people are gonna be looking at other European countries, other people in the Eurozone to bail them out, France and Germany principally, okay? And what that's gonna do is that's gonna put, that, if, if Germany has to start bailing them out, it's gonna give Germany some real problems. And again, we're gonna see some real pressure on the Euro. Okay, the other thing that's happened, or that will happen, or could happen, but certainly is happening now, is that we're seeing a flight to quality. Okay, people are steering clear of bonds issued by these guys, and they're buying US treasuries, for example. And they're also steering clear of the Euro, and they're going into the dollar. What does that do? Drives the dollar up in price. Okay, so that may, gives us a strong dollar, Great, right? Well, not if you think about it as an exporter, and particularly as an exporter to Europe, because as the dollar goes up, it makes it, makes it more expensive for these chaps to, to, uh, to, to buy our stuff, and because Europe is one of our biggest markets, it means that we're less likely to sell into the market, and that's where we're already seeing concerns about that right now, which is what's affecting some of, which is, some of which is what's affecting the stock market, and also you know, affecting the dollar as well. Because if we aren't able to export, if we haven't got a buyer in Europe, then it's gonna leave America very badly needing a drink.